after an eventful morning at Duffy's. I never had no trouble until Ronnie come here from Chalmette over there. I ain't from Chalmette, I'm from Violet. Let's get that straight. The prince of the swamps here, baby. Oh, the queen, boy, like your queen. <laughs> King of the swamp, Troy Landry, has one mission today. Catch the biggest gator in the bayou. I want to make sure we have the biggest, not just the most. I want to make sure we have the most and the biggest. Yeah, we got to uphold the reputation. Already got quite a few people, like Ron and a few others, trying to knock us off the ladder. I love him to death, but Ron is always trying to get me to bet with him about this, bet with him about that, and who's going to catch the most, who's going to catch the biggest. And, you know, one of these days, somebody's going to knock me off of the throne, and, and I know that day is coming, but I don't know if it's going to be this year. So I'm going to take a day and try to cherry pick and target just the big alligators. Can't let me down. We got to stay on top. Dude, that's a big alligator right there. Right here? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. If you hook him, I'll fight him. That's him right now. Don't feel nut? Uh -uh. I can't tell if that bubble's down there, if he moved on us. I thought it'd have been easy to catch right here. Look, look, you see them bubbles? Yeah, that's what I keep throwing on. I'm not a uh... Making contact with anything. If that was an alligator, I'd have hooked him just now. Cause I was right on that. Missing this giant is a rough start to the day, but the king of the swamp is staying focused. I'd bet my right arm on a chopping block. I could win this with no problem. Ronnie can make noise and sing his tune all he wants, but I'm not going to worry about it. I got another line ready to start. God, not in the chicken. God, dang it. My son is the rotten chicken. You know, I'm aggravated here. It's not going good. We're having so much trouble. And we're not catching big ones, and I can't figure it out. Hey, we got a good one over there, though, dude. Look, see him pulling the line? All right, come on, big boy. Let's dangle. Oh, my God. There he goes. Yeah. Let me come over here and see if I can push all around. Let me go that way. Over that way. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Good alligator. Good alligator. This nine footer is great for filling a tag, but Troy knows he'll need to get something much bigger to quiet the likes of Ronnie. You know, we're not doing terrible right now, but we're not doing that great neither. We're not doing nothing to brag about. And uh, I think we need to improve a little bit. We need to try to do a little better than we've been doing. I want to make sure you and I stay on the top of the ladder. It don't matter what you do for a living. If you alligator hunt, you can be a horse trainer, you can be a school teacher, you can be anything. To be school teacher of the year, you gotta do more than the other school teachers. And to be the king of the swamp or the best alligator hunter on the bayou, you gotta be willing to work harder and do more than the other alligator hunters. It's that simple. I'm no better than the next man. I'm just willing to work harder than the next man. And that's what separates us from a lot of other people. Got jump. 
Oh no, it's cut. Huh? Somebody cut our lawn. Cut a pot. Oh. Shouldn't be cut. Look cut to me. Oh, way up there? Yeah, that's cut. The hunters know that a post gator means it was probably a huge one, but that won't stop them from pushing on. Once that happens, there is no getting an alligator back. Once they cut this line, the alligator's gone. He's he's history. So we'll see how the rest of the day goes from here. It's a lot cheaper just to steal somebody else's one. But one day they're going to pay for that. Yeah, that's it. You can't do nothing about it. Time is running out for Troy and Pickle to catch a monster to beat Ronnie and defend their status as swamp royalty. I think they want to be like us. And they think by coming over here, yeah. they're going to be hunters like we are. And <laughs> you don't have nothing to do with where you hunt. It's your technique. This is our territory. So we need to catch the biggest alligator of the season. I mean, Troy Landry's my captain. We have to. We got to do it. It's Pierpont. It's ours. <laughs> the alligator I see, check the gun, make sure it's loaded. This is a big one, P. Don't let him go by the motor. Keep him, pull him. Pull him. Look at that. Oh, what? It's Moby Dick. Pull him. Don't let him go. Don't let that line go, whatever you do. Boom. Ooh, that just again. pissed him off. Shoot him again! Mr. Troy, shoot him! Shoot him! He's slipping, he's slipping! Shoot him, shoot him! I can't hold him! Don't let him go! Hold him! Ooh! Dude, I thought he was gonna pull you in. I was hollering. Don't let him go, don't let him go, and I don't know how you didn't let him go. Give me a little slack on the wink. Look at that, dude. Right there. At over 12 feet, this dinosaur makes Troy and Pickle feel good about their chances to out-hunt Ronnie yet again. It's a massive 12-foot alligator, and, you know, I hate to tell you, Mr. Ronnie, but uh, Mr. Troy's still the king of the swamp. 